talking about dollars, although we're talking points what? there. It's talking about knowledge of God's Word and growing in it so that as you grow in God's Word, you grow in faith and love for God because you learn more and more about His love for you. So we're going to start the game. Keep in mind, each team, one, two, three. You, get, uh, 50, uh, you get three lifelines. One's a 50-50, which means it'll cut off half uh, the answers, uh, which are wrong. It'll take off the wrong ones, okay. but it'll leave a good and bad one. You also can make a phone call, oh. and also you can ask the crowd, right? The yeah. audience. Okay, so let's something. see how this goes. You can be a millionaire. That's right. It was on TV, but this has Bible questions. Okay, you guys go first. Saint means holy. No, that's the opposite. Sinner and saint. Sinner is the opposite of a saint. Sinner is when you do wrong. Saint is when you do no wrong whatsoever. Whenever I think of a saint, I think of like a person with like a halo over their head. Okay, uh, you can think that way, and that means holiness, Ray. Holy, all right? Is a role model in this world, like me, for example, am I perfectly holy? No. No. I am not on my own. On my own, that's the key. Is a preacher, which I'm also, am I perfectly holy? No. No. On my own, no way. I would go to hell if it was up to me to win heaven and be a saint. If it was up to me, I'd fall far short. But a missionary like my dad, how about him? Did he have a halo on his head? Was he holy on his own? No. no. Sinner, right? Sinner, sinner, sinner. Right? Believer. But now a believer who trusts in Jesus wears whose clothes? Jesus. Jesus' clothes, which not real clothes, but clothes of purity and righteousness. As they believe, so they go to heaven and they're um, accepted as saints, not because of what they did, but because of what Jesus has done for you. So people who believe, they wear the clothes of Jesus, which is clothes of righteousness, holiness, which makes them saints. See, there are a lot of, a lot of um, churches, uh, including the Roman Catholic Church, believe that you can become a saint by how good you are. But the Bible does not teach that. You become a saint only through Jesus who, who died for you and, and was perfect for you. I, so, I'm, I'm, I'm here like, I'm here like, for you, tomorrow. Bye.